Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our beloved Mirage 2000C and we're going to look at the different autopilot modes. So it's pretty simple. We're in our basic uh, hard nav mode at the moment. Here are our autopilot selection buttons here along with this dial here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put it in the basic autopilot mode. I'm going to click on this A here. And now I can basically direct the autopilot with this star that's appeared here in the path marker so I can use my trim to move that up and down and it will basically follow wherever I put that star right so I could move that up if I wanted to uh, to carry on at a, at a pitch or an attitude of five degrees that's my five degree line I would just leave it there and it would carry on at five degrees uh, if I want to go back to the horizon so let's try moving it right yep so if I move it right I'm using the trim right command at the moment you can see that I am setting um, a desired heading there and my plane will turn with the autopilot master mode on to that point and then level itself off and there it's level and it's going to sit and it's going to get keep me there so basically i'm using the trim up down left and right to tell this mode where to where to head and what attitude to head and i can override it by pulling hard on the stick left to right or whatever there's it's also uh, an autopilot override which i have bound to my uh, hog panel uh, my hog paddle I found. Kind of like the Hornex uh, anti-G. Roger. Right, so the next mode is the first uh, sub-mode, which is barometric hold. So with the master autopilot on, we can click barometric hold there. That is going to ignore the attitude or the up and down of my star and just keep us at whatever barometric um, altitude. So keep us at whatever that is, 39,980. Simple as that. We can still use the trimmer left and right to change a course. And again, it will level out like so. Now we can do something different with this. We can just let this settle again. We can turn it off, off. We can set a bank. Say I want a bank like so. And then master autopilot on and barometric hold on. And it will now keep me in this kind of um, banked curve. If I want to circle something, uh, so there's a target down there. Barometric on, master on, and it will just keep the bank and keep the same altitude. So that's pretty cool. Right, I'm going to level myself out now. Now the next one, the second sub option if you will, so let me just get master mode on. This one here will uh, take me down to a pre-designated altitude and hold there, designated by this counter here. So you've got tens of thousands of feet, thousands of feet, hundreds and then feet. So I want to go to 30,400 feet. I click sub mode 2 on. It's giving me a warning. So what I need to do, if that's the what we've selected there is lower than our actual barometric so we want to trim down to take it down towards our selected uh, altitude and it will soon give me a green light for the go just stand by for that and there uh, it's happy now it's it's uh, got green on so it will now take me down to the designated out barometric altitude and hold there the third sub option we don't think that works is that right guys yeah third switch doesn't work in that roger and the fourth sub option does anyone want to have a pop at that yes so this is the ils mode which is built to function with ils landings so first thing you do is you go over to your ils panel and put in the relevant ils frequency for the runway you're going to land at once you enable the autopilot at first you will see the the um, light which is marked as l will appear um, basically that just means it's armed initially and what will happen is that initially the autopilot won't do anything you have to get into what's referred to as the cone of the localizer which is basically a three degree cone which is leading out from the ILS signal on the final approach to the runway so the first part of the flight you get yourself onto final approach flying through the ILS cones right mm -hmm. once it receives a signal from those cones the L actuator light will turn from amber, which is the yellow one, to green. At that point, the pitch axis will be controlled by the autopilot. And the flight path angle can be adjusted via the pilot using the trim hat. The roll is controlled. The autopilot is controlled. The roll and adjusts heading to capture and follow the LOC axis. Trim hat has no input effects. When entering the three degree cone of glide, then the G light will switch, the autopilot will become in control of the pitch and follow the glide path descent. 
and the roll will also be controlled by the autopilot to follow the LOC axis. So basically, as you get onto final, this allows the autopilot to take control of the system and it will basically try and fly the play down into the glide path and touch down for you. Awesome. I shall give that a go at some point. Right, I think that concludes the autopilot. Anything to add, chaps, before we sign off? Not really. I'm not entirely sure why that third button is blank, but it just doesn't do anything and it's there. Lovely. Right. I hope that helps and we'll see you later.